Hello again and welcome. It's me. It's me and me is Joy. It's Joy Ruffin coming to you from the Sunshine State, Florida. Back with you again. Back with you with a new hairstyle, new hair color, new glasses. Just new, but the same me. <laughs> so it's just a change. So whether it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, but wherever you are, sending your way all the best. Best wishes. This week, it's going to be a little mishmash of everything. And today I thought I'd talk about a very popular subject of late, and that's blogging. Blogging has become the popular sport of the day, of the times. And the question is, why is blogging so popular? It's a fantastic creative outlet. Most people think that you have to be a writer to be able to blog. Well, that isn't so. Once you get into blogging and you start reading different blogs and following and connecting with different people, you'll see that blogging, like everything else, is about someone telling their story, sharing with you their thoughts and ideas, and also learning something with you. It's a combination of so many factors. And for most people, it's about connecting and tying it to something that will lead to them to some means and ways of making money, having additional income. Sometimes it doesn't start out that way, but it ends up that way because of the social media and the connections that you make. But some of the things that you can do, and just to be on point with that, that you'll do when you start to blog, that it will give you, is that you want your blog to be able to give to people something and you also want to get something. It will teach you something. You hope that it will entertain you in some way. It will inspire you in many good ways, encourage you to do something, to be at your best, and to motivate you and to keep you moving and going forward. Now, sometimes all of those elements are involved in a blogging article and sometimes not. It might be one or two. But the point is that when you're blogging, you're hoping, your intention is that one, if not more, of those elements will be involved in the blogging. Once you start to get into blogging and see what a wonderful outlet it, outlet it is, I equate it somewhat to people who journal, except that that journal is private to them, and most times they don't want the time that they're doing it, others to read it. Blogging is for the public. It's for everyone. It's sharing and exchanging. So if it's something that you thought about, you don't have to be, as I always say, it's my favorite standard comment. You don't have to be a Tolstoy, but you really will enjoy it if you start. And in the process, it's another learning tool that you can use. So if you haven't thought about it, give it some thought, food for thought, and then let's see where it takes you. Do read my blog today. If you're out and about, I hope you're having fun and you're enjoying yourselves. And remember that you have to take care of you first and then you're able to take care of others until we connect the next time. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.